Ahoy hoy everyone, it's Craig back at Disney's Animal Kingdom with another Disney Dining Review. Before I get started, I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content, you want to support us, please consider booking a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the support of one of the awesome Dreams Unlimited Travel agents. So head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free, no obligation quote. Now today in Animal Kingdom, I am standing in Africa, just outside of Harambe Market because that's where I'm eating. It has been forever since I've done a review of Harambe Market. Like literally, I think it might have been like six years. Back then, that was still when there was like unique items at each of the windows. Now it is a very pared down menu. They have like rice bowls. There's our ribs and rice bowl. There's a chicken and rice bowl. There's a chicken salad, there's a plant-based sausage and rice bowl, you get the point. But there's also a combo one that includes both the ribs and chicken. So I figured why not get a good taste of what this, this restaurant's serving up by getting that combo. So I placed my mobile order, I'm just waiting for it to be ready, and then I'll get to all that food. I have my ribs and chicken bowl here from Harambe Market, and it looks okay, you know. Nice big portion of rice that doesn't look to be overcooked. Uh, two pieces of ribs, a handful of chicken, and then those mixed greens with it. But here's what it specifically is. It is $14.99. It is cilantro rice and mixed greens bowl served with ribs and grilled chicken topped with salsa. So that's it. And I'll be honest, the chicken looks like the chicken that you would get in a bowl from Satuli Canteen in Pandora, the world of Avatar. And the ribs look very much like the ribs you would get at Flame Tree Barbecue. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're not actually even cooking it here and they're just bringing it in from the other restaurants that are making it. But I'm going in with an open mind. I'm gonna start with a couple pieces of chicken here. Got a little of the salsa on there and uh, I'll continue on. The chicken's actually pretty good. At first, I thought that it wasn't really well seasoned. I think that was because the salsa was dominating the flavor with that little bite I had, but then having the chicken by itself, you know, I, I don't think it's any, it's seasoned with anything else beyond like salt and pepper. Uh, but then it did have like a nice little smoky flavor to it as well too. So overall, uh, if I would have just gotten the chicken bowl by itself, I, I'd be I'd be satisfied with it. It was, it was pretty good chicken, but I do have to try this rib and I've never tried to hold a camera and eat ribs before. So this is gonna be a first. And I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna go. I'll say these ribs don't look like they have a lot of meat on them. And that was always a complaint of mine in the past with Flame Tree. I know the last time I had ribs there, they were, they were pretty good, but I, I don't know about these ones. Here goes nothing. The ribs are okay. They're not really blowing me away by any means at all. Uh, the the spice blend on there, it's very, very subtle. You know, I am getting a lot of smoky flavors from it and it, it was actually kind of meaty. It, it was a lot more than I was expecting, still not a ton, you know. It, it, it came off the bone well enough, so I, I would say they were okay. They, were, they weren't the best I've ever had. They weren't the worst, but yeah, it, it doesn't really stack up to the chicken. If I would have it in the opposite order, I'd probably be a little bit more impressed. Now I'm gonna get to the last part of the bowl, and that of course is the cilantro rice and the mixed greens, so here goes nothing. The rice and greens are actually probably my favorite part of this entire dish. Uh, the rice is just slightly sticky, but it's also absorbing some of the dressing that was added to the mixed greens. And speaking of that dressing, it is spicy. It is a spicy vinaigrette. And I'm not talking about the salsa, I'm talking about the actual dressing that they put on the greens. I mean, this is fantastic. I would have easily just had a salad with this vinaigrette on it by itself. Throw on a little bit of rice too, just to you know fill me up a little bit more. Heck, throw on the chicken too. I guess what I'm saying is, I wish I would have just got the chicken because I did eat the rest of the ribs and I am not digging them at all. These were not good ribs. Uh, the, the flavor just wasn't quite there in terms of the smokiness. You know, that, that was present, but not really seasoned well. Just super, super fatty and not in a good way. I just did not care for them, but everything else I am absolutely in love with. But I have a big bowl still here to finish. I'm gonna eat that, I'll give you my final thoughts. I'm all wrapped up with my lunch from Harambe Market, and honestly, I really enjoyed it, and I would absolutely get it again. 
And my mouth is still burning from how spicy that vinaigrette was that was on top of the mixed greens. <clears throat> like, oh my gosh, I cannot say enough how much I wish I just had a salad just full of that, maybe a little bit of the, the grilled chicken on there too. It would have been so good. Truly, the only disappointing part was the ribs, but after those were gone and out of the way, you know, I mixed up the rice, the salsa, the greens, and the, the chicken, and I kind of made myself like basically a chipotle bowl, which is what I believe they're going for, really. Uh, specifically with the chicken bowls, obviously not the ribs, but ultimately because of that, you know, I felt like it was kind of healthy besides the ribs. Like, I am very full, and that rice is going to weigh me down quite a bit, but you know what? On a long theme park day, it's also probably a bit of a good thing. So, for the chicken, would absolutely come back. Get it as the chicken rice bowl or the chicken salad would do it again. Just stay away from the ribs. That's going to do it for me here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comments section below. If you want to support us more, book a trip through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free, no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. That's it for me here at Animal Kingdom. I'll see you again real soon with another Disney dining review. Take care. Bye-bye.